while I was speaking and praying, confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel, and presenting my plea before the Lord my God for the holy hill of my God while I was speaking in prayer, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the first, came to me in swift flight at the time of the evening sacrifice. He made me understand, speaking with me and saying, O Daniel, I have now come out to give you insight and understanding. God reveals himself in scripture as the God who can do anything. Nothing is too difficult for him. When there are obstacles and enemies and problems all around us, God does his best work. He specializes in miraculous breakthroughs. God desires to produce breakthroughs in our lives. So many live life in the prison of sin and bitterness and guilt and shame and dysfunction. God wants to break through those walls that keep us incarcerated so that we can really live uh, the abundant life and experience His joy, peace and power. There are th three times in our lives when we simply need a breakthrough from God. Maybe you need a new job or a breakthrough in your finances, direction on a big business deal, or maybe physical healing from an illness. Sometimes we need to hear from God directly for situations in our lives. Daniel was seeking God to understand why the nation had been in captivity for 70 years. He began to fast and pray. At the end of his time, an angel of the Lord appeared to him. It is clear the angel came to Daniel because of his fasting and prayer and his seeking God for answers. The prophet Jeremiah says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. The problem with most of us is we are unwilling to seek God for the answers. Seeking God requires an intentional focus that may require prayer and fasting. Someone said, I believe the power of fasting as it relates to prayer is the spiritual atomic bomb that our Lord has begun, given us to destroy the strongholds of evil and usher in a great revival and spiritual harvest around the world. The longer I fasted, the more I sensed the presence of the Lord. The Holy Spirit refreshed my soul and spirit, and I experienced the joy of the Lord as seldom before. Biblical truths leaped at me from the pages of God's Word. My faith sowed as I humbled myself and cried out to God and rejoiced in His presence. Do you need a breakthrough? Consider committing to time of fasting and prayer. Stay with us and let's look at the following story, Momentum Breakthrough. Momentum is simply uh, a force of, or speed of a movement that carries an object to its final destination. If you want to break through, you need to have a certain amount of momentum. In order for a rocket to blast into space, it needs tremendous momentum to break the gravitational barrier. But with the enormous power of jet engines and rocket's fuel, the ship is propelled faster and faster till it breaks free of the Earth's gravitational pull. Often our challenge is gaining the spiritual momentum to break through. It requires real power. Eric Liddell, the Olympic runner, once remarked that the Lord requires muscular Christians. Believers who are serious in their faith walk are people who stand steadfastly against difficult obstacles and who pray with great fervency and devotion for the causes of their Lord. This produces spiritual power for magnificent breakthroughs in the spiritual realm. Sin and self-indulgence will compromise and slow the spiritual momentum required for breakthrough. But if we nourish the vision and cultivate the habit of pressing on to the higher calling, we'll be inspired to forsake our sins and focus on the glory and joy of the Lord's victory. 
One more thing. It is often true that the most ferocious battle requiring the greatest momentum and perseverance, just like the rocket blast into outer space, will occur just before the breakthrough to victory. Regain momentum in your spiritual life through repentance toward God and steadfast perseverance in that specific vision and call He has given you. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, ungodly men and women in sinful cities do not realize how much they owe to the presence of your people in their midst. Godly people are too often unaware of their enormous responsibility to pray for a wicked world. Let us plead with your dear Lord for a breakthrough in countries where your presence is not allowed. Amen. Thank you.